What if you could send utterly impossible messages to intercept or hack, no matter how advanced the technology? This is not a scene from a science fiction movie, but an emerging reality, and China is leading the charge with its upcoming quantum communication satellite network, set to launch in 2025. China aims to establish an unbreakable digital communication system that could redefine global information security. Using satellites in both Low Earth Orbit LEO and Medium Earth Orbit MEO, this network promises to achieve a level of encryption that traditional methods can't even begin to match. In this video, we'll uncover the details behind this groundbreaking project. China's approach to creating a global quantum communication network is nothing short of revolutionary. Building on its early success with the MOSI satellite in 2016, which was the first to demonstrate quantum key distribution QKD and quantum entanglement in space, the country is now set to launch two to three new quantum communication satellites into low Earth orbit LEO by 2025. These satellites are designed to function as secure nodes that will link with ground stations and establish a framework for a larger network. But the real game changer will be the launch of a medium Earth orbit MEO satellite in 2027. This satellite will provide longer duration communication windows, allowing for more extensive testing and a greater range of coverage. What makes this plan unique is the way it integrates both LEO and MEO satellites. Low Earth orbit satellites pass overhead in minutes, making communication brief but offering broader coverage at a lower cost. By combining these with a medium Earth orbit satellite, which stays in view for a much longer period, China can establish secure communication links that last longer and span larger distances. This layered network approach will allow China to perform sophisticated quantum communication experiments, such as quantum teleportation and more advanced forms of QKD. Additionally, the satellites will feature highly advanced telescopes and photon transmission systems that have been miniaturized for space use. One such advancement is a 600 mm diameter telescope, which is crucial for transmitting and receiving quantum keys. This infrastructure, when combined with the existing 2,000 km long Beijing-Shanghai quantum communication backbone, will create a hybrid system that covers both ground and space, leading to a more resilient and extensive network. Through these efforts, China aims to build a robust and reliable communication network that could one day offer secure, global quantum communication capabilities, setting the stage for broader technological applications and global impact. Developing a global quantum communication network is an unparalleled technological challenge, and China is tackling it head-on with a series of remarkable innovations. The upcoming satellites will be equipped with state-of-the-art quantum relay technologies designed to maintain entanglement over vast distances without losing coherence, a crucial factor for achieving secure communication. These advancements will enable the satellites to perform highly sensitive tasks, such as distributing quantum keys to ground stations thousands of kilometers apart without the risk of interception. One key aspect of the technological development is photon transmission. Quantum communication relies on the transmission of photons, which are particles of light, between ground stations and satellites. Achieving this requires overcoming environmental factors like atmospheric turbulence and optical alignment issues, which can disrupt the transmission. China's new satellites will incorporate advanced laser systems and precision-guided telescopes to ensure successful photon transmission, even under challenging conditions. The LEO satellites will serve as stepping stones, testing the feasibility of these systems over shorter distances and gradually scaling up to more complex configurations. The MEO satellite scheduled for 2027 will provide additional testing grounds with longer observation windows and improved synchronization capabilities. This is crucial for developing relay technologies that can extend the range of quantum communication, enabling satellites to relay entangled photons across multiple nodes. One of the primary goals is to miniaturize these quantum systems so that they can fit within the constraints of the satellite's payload without compromising their functionality. This involves not just reducing the size of photon detectors and laser systems, but also optimizing the power requirements and cooling systems, which are critical for maintaining the stability of quantum states. 
Another technological hurdle is integrating the space-based network with existing fiber optic infrastructures. Although ground-based networks, like the Beijing-Shanghai quantum communication backbone, have demonstrated the viability of quantum communication over regional distances, connecting these to satellites adds layers of complexity. The development of a global quantum communication network has far-reaching strategic implications, both for China and the rest of the world. As the first nation to successfully demonstrate quantum communication in space with the MOSI satellite, China has positioned itself as a leader in this cutting-edge technology. The ability to establish a secure global quantum network would not only enhance national security, but also provide a strategic advantage in international relations and economic competitiveness. Quantum communication's resistance to eavesdropping makes it an ideal solution for transmitting sensitive information, whether it's government secrets, financial data, or military communications. Traditional encryption methods rely on complex mathematical algorithms that can potentially be cracked with enough computational power. However, quantum key distribution QKD operates on the principles of quantum mechanics, which means that any attempt to intercept or tamper with the quantum keys will immediately alter their state and make the intrusion detectable. This makes QKD-based communication practically unbreakable, providing a level of security that far surpasses current standards. China's leadership in this technology also opens the door to international collaboration. Pan Jianwei, a prominent scientist involved in China's quantum communication projects, has expressed the country's willingness to partner with other nations to develop a global quantum constellation. This could involve sharing technology, co-developing satellites, or even establishing international standards for quantum communication. Such collaborations would not only accelerate technological progress, but also ensure that the benefits of quantum communication are accessible to the global community. However, this also means that other nations are rapidly ramping up their efforts to catch up. The European Space Agency is already working on its own quantum communication network and private companies like Boeing have announced plans to launch small quantum networking satellites by 2026. The strategic race for quantum supremacy is on, and whoever controls the first functional global quantum communication network will likely set the rules for the next generation of secure communications. This would give that nation a significant geopolitical advantage, potentially influencing everything from economic policies to international security frameworks. The stakes are high, and China's progress in quantum communication could set the tone for how this technology evolves on a global scale. As the world watches, it's becoming increasingly clear that quantum communication isn't just about secure data transmission, it's about redefining the rules of global digital communication and setting new standards for security and technological excellence. In this video, we have learned about China's ambitious plan to build a global quantum communication network through a series of upcoming satellite launches. We discussed how these satellites will use quantum technology to enable ultra-secure communication, the technological advancements and challenges involved, and the broader strategic implications of this project. We hope you learned something new. If you did, please give us a like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And don't forget to leave a comment below and tell us what you think about this news and what you would like to know more about.